onto the body. We got our, uh, oh, it smokes. Oh, it tipped everything over. We got our new T-bar in. Oh, gotta take some of that tape off, sorry. Had to paint our new brackets that we made. Got our new adjusters in here. Oh, geez, I wasn't paying attention. New adjusters in here. That was pretty sweet. We got them set about midway in case we need to uh, make an adjustment either way. So we got a little leeway there, which is a lot easier than cutting or adding or replacing. So we uh getting ready to, to cut our sh first little bit of uh, decking. So that'll be interesting. We got the sheet all laid out. Five by 11, I believe is how big this sheet is. We're gonna do white decking. So I got my, I made my first marks. And we're gonna put you on time lapse and we're gonna start cutting some body out.
funnest job doing a body. Feeling plastic. We have made some project or progress the back decking on. We got both panels cut for the side decking. Got the uh, deflector in and the extension on there. Just got to round the corner a little bit on the deflector. Yeah, right it's coming along. Back to peeling plastic. So, update. We've been busy. We got the uh, decking all done. Uh, except for one little filler panel on the front. Um, roof's on. Got the cockpit deflector in. That turned out really nice. I like how that looks. And uh, got the seat and the, the belts were kind of already in, but got that done. Got a little bit of the bracing done. All the roof bracings got put in. Those are done. And uh, yeah, so I uh, just wanted to fill you in on that uh, for the summary of this video um, one of my uh, viewers actually uh, sent me a message and has let me try out his pneumatic uh, bleeder power bleeder uh, for brakes um, I had noticed that I got I thought I had the Blake's brakes bled really well but uh, I found a few air pockets um, which is again nice thing about the plastic lines you can kind of see if you're doing good or not where um, if I would have just went by, uh, externally how I was bleeding them, I would have thought they were bled perfect, but, uh, just being able to sit and let the oil, the fluid settle, you can kind of see the air pockets form. So, um, that'll hamper and hamp, hamp, hamper some of the performance if you got air pockets in there. So, um, so yeah, he, uh, messed me about that and asked if I wanted to try it and he dropped it off and, um, I had some. Uh, it's not here anymore, but I had a partial sheet of black aluminum. Uh, he helps fill a racer of mine and, uh, they wanted to kind of, uh, they wanted that. They also made me some bumpers, got them over on the floor. got to get those sent off power coating. So yeah, we kind of made some, some trades and, and he's helped me out by letting me borrow that tool. So again, thanks Jeff for letting me, let me use that. We'll, uh, see how that goes and. Uh, we'll probably be doing that soon. Uh, looking forward to getting a uh, motor put in soon. We were going to do that a couple days ago, but I have misplaced one of my tools that I use for pushing the, the pilot bushing in. And uh, I have not been able to find it, so I got to either get one to use or um, got to buy a new one, which they're not super expensive. So um, just unfortunately, I had a cool trick for taking them out, but putting them back in, I, I don't have the right tool. So, um, and I really don't want to mess that up because it was a, it's a little bit different pilot bushing. That's not just a standard one. I don't want to, don't really want to wreck it. Uh, they're not super expensive, but I don't want to wreck them. So, uh, yeah. So that, this motor here with the yellow tape will be our motor. We'll be starting the season off with. So we got to switch over some things uh, from the motor ran last year. This one's going in for a little bit of a tune-up, uh, not necessarily rebuilt, but we need valve springs and stuff put in it. I'm gonna have the engine builder check it over. I talked to him when we were down there last time in one of our previous videos, um, one of our trips anyway down there. I don't think I had any video of our experience there, but uh, I'm gonna have the engine builder take a look at that. So we'll have to transfer over the clutch, uh, distributor, the uh, flex plate, I got a new starter, but we'll take the starter off that. And uh, I got the motor mounts. I got to move over. Uh, one of them's kind of got a special, special slot in it, so that way it fits in the to this car. So um, yeah, so we will be. Oh, and valve covers, uh, and water pump, yeah. and we got to move a lot of stuff over. So so yeah, so that's kind of the update. I don't think I got anything else that I can ramble on for in this video. Um, the neighbors were over and they helped so appreciate their help so yeah um onward and upwards see you in the next video